a ramp, an inclined plane. There are two objects here connected by a massless rope. Uh, one object is 8 kilograms. It's on this plane that has an angle of 68 degrees. You'll see more of this diagram later. Uh, but 8 kilograms on the ramp. Massless rope, frictionless pulley, and we have a 4 kilogram uh, object hanging in the air, hanging freely. There's no friction with the uh, side of the ramp here. Um, the force is involved. There is tension in the, the rope. And that tension exists on both sides. Um, the tension in the rope, and then we have the weight of the objects. So how do we get started here? And we've got some friction, static friction, and kinetic friction. Our first question is uh, the consideration, we're at rest to, to start. Will the box boxes start moving? Will the system have some acceleration? If it does move, then calculate the value of the acceleration. So let's slide this up a little bit so we can see our diagram. And let's put some force arrows on here. The four kilogram object, we're going to have 4 times 9.81 be the magnitude of the weight of that object. The 8 kilogram object, I'm going to draw its uh, mg over here. So we have 8 times 9.81. And we can see that this uh, vector is not useful as is. We need something in the direction of motion to uh, analyze the problem. So I'm going to create a right triangle in here. The mg for this object on the ramp is always the hypotenuse of the right triangle that you draw. And that means I need the right angle up here. And there's our right triangle. And this portion of the right triangle, um, I'll draw it out here. Um, is going to be a component of mg. Well, what trig function and what angle do I use to calculate that? Um, 68 degrees here. You should do your own little kind of work here. And this, if I would create a right triangle coming down here, then I'd have 22 degrees up at the uh, top. Another right angle here, so I'd have 68 degrees inside. The, and this will always be true. The angle at the top of the triangle that you draw if you draw it this way, the angle at the top of the triangle you draw will always be equal to the ramp angle. And by this way, I mean I have one leg perpendicular to the ramp. I have another leg of the triangle that's parallel to the ramp. So 68 degrees for that angle. And that's going to be, we want the opposite side to that angle. So I'm going to have the sine of the theta in general. In this particular problem, it's going to be 8 times 9.81 times the sine of 68 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up here. So that's the force down the plane, force due to weight, down the plane. So 8 9.81 sine of uh, 68 degrees. If you multiply those together, you get 72.77. That's the component of mg acting down the plane. It's uh, not aided, but opposed by this force. This mg would like to pull the system with a box down the ramp. This mg would like to pull the system this way, and the rope would carry the 8 kilogram box up the ramp. And how strong is this? Well, 4 times 9.81 is 39.24 newtons. So on just that consideration, this force is going to succeed in moving the system. But we're not done. There's also friction in this problem. And to calculate the force of friction, I use the static coefficient. We're not moving at the start of this problem. We might move later, but the force of friction is going to be the static coefficient used here. And I write less than or equal. You should do a little reading on this. The static friction force is a force that just you get as much as you need. 
up to some point. The limiting maximum point is uh, the coefficient of friction times a normal force. By normal force, we need we mean the force that's pushing on the box from the ramp. So that's going to be out this way, and it's equal to the force in this leg of the triangle. Mg, I have to kind of squeeze it in here, cosine theta. The gravity pulls the box into the ramp. The ramp pushes back on the box. As we are not accelerating perpendicular to the ramp. There may be some acceleration up and down the ramp, up or down the ramp, but we're not accelerating perpendicular to the ramp. So these two forces on the box have to balance. The pull of component of gravity of the box on the box into the ramp equals the normal force, the contact force of the ramp pushing on the box. Uh, so let's go and calculate the max static friction force we have. Our coefficient here is 0 0.5. We don't use the kinetic coefficient. We use the static. We're at rest right now. And this mg cosine theta gives us the um, value of the normal force. So 9.81 is a factor. And then the cosine of 68 degrees. Why is it cosine? Uh, this side we want here is adjacent to the 68 degree angle. Um, so if I multiply those together, I come up with 14.7 newtons. So the box is tending to move down the ramp. That's the bigger force. Um, friction is going to act up the ramp. There's going to be a force of friction here. Friction opposes the tendency to move. So I know now which way to draw the friction arrow. It's resisting the movement of the box down the ramp. It's going to be up. But if I add up these two forces here, I do not get as high as 72.77. So the box will move down the ramp. So now we need to calculate the acceleration. Well, to calculate the acceleration, I need the net external force equals mass times acceleration. I'm going to do the whole system here, uh, both boxes, the rope, and find the net force, external force in that situation. Total mass is going to be 8 plus 4 kilograms, and we'll calculate the acceleration. Now, something I prefer to do is only consider external forces. It's gravity, the weight due to gravity. Friction is an external force on the system. The tension is inside the system. It's in this rope that connects the two boxes. So you will not see me put the T symbol in this Part A calculation. I'm going to use it later. Um, but let's think about what forces we have here. We have the 72.77 down the ramp. I'm going to call that the negative direction. So that's going to be minus 72.77 newtons. Um, and in the opposite sense of direction, we've got the 39.24 newtons. These two forces are opposing in their action on the system. So one has to have a minus, one has to have a plus. It doesn't matter which one you give plus and which one minus, but they must have different signs. Uh, you might decide to do down the ramp as the positive direction. That's fine. And now we also have the force of friction. Should I use 14.7 newtons? And the answer is no. We have to now use the kinetic friction calculation, which means a different coefficient. The normal force will be the same, but we have to use 0.4 instead of 0.5. So I'll leave, leave it to you to do that. 0.4 times 8 times 9.81 times cosine of 68 degrees. You should get 11.76 newtons. So there's our net force, external force. We're ignoring tension. It's internal. We have 72.77 newtons pulling this way. Friction is opposing that. This weight is opposing this motion. The total mass is 12 kilograms. And then we have our acceleration to be calculated. So we've got newtons for those three forces. Kilograms here. We we'll get meters per second squared for our acceleration. Combine these numbers. Divide by 12. 
and you should find the acceleration is minus 1.81 meters per second squared. The acceleration is down the ramp for this box. The acceleration is vertically upward for the 4 kilogram object. Um, so there's acceleration. There are three forces to consider. The component of weight due to gravity for the 8 kilogram box, the weight of the 4 kilogram box, the friction, kinetic friction value, those form our net force. Now our next question is calculate the tension in the rope. And to do this, I'm going to isolate just the 4 kilogram object. Now the tension is external to my object of interest here. So we have the 4 kilograms times 9.81, 39.24 newtons downward, tension upward. I'm going to work this problem with plus being the up direction, so that'll be a minus. Again, F equals MA. For this system, tension minus 39.24. Tension's in the positive direction, so I leave that a plus. The MG is downward, so that comes in as a subtraction. What's the total mass of this system? 4 kilograms. And we have the acceleration. Is it minus 1.81 or is it plus 1.81? It's plus 1.81 because the system is accelerating upward. The box on the ramp is winning the tug of war, so to speak. So the 4 kilogram box is accelerating upward. This is the acceleration value for the 8 kilogram box. It's negative going down. The 4 kilogram box is moving upward, so it's a positive number. This is very important to get it correct here, whether this is plus or minus. And you may want to prefer to work some more examples, but another way we can tell if we're right or wrong, multiply these two together, add 39.24 to both sides, and we get 46.5. Is that a reasonable number? 46.5 newtons. And the answer is yes. This 4 kilogram box is accelerating upward. In order for this box to move upward, the tension force must be bigger than the weight. This tension is doing two things, really. It's supporting the weight, and then the leftover force, roughly 7 newtons, is accelerating the object. So the tension upward has to be larger than the mg downward if the box is accelerating upward. A different problem, uh, the box hanging in the air may be the dominant force and the box on the plane slides upward. Uh, then this would be a minus in here for whatever that acceleration value is. But you ought to use some uh, analysis of the concept here. This box is accelerating upward. The tension has to be bigger than the mg. So there we are with the inclined plane using with friction. We had to uh, break the mg for the box on the plane into two components. A component parallel to the plane, that's the force of gravity acting down the plane, and a component perpendicular to the plane, that provided us the normal force. So I hope you uh, do some more practicing on that and ask your instructor some questions.